throw in those names because you know, know they're not always English names. There's French names and Spanish names. It's like, oh boy, how do I say this? Well, one? I have a girlfriend. Her <laughs> name is Adelaidia. So every time uh, I see that, kinda it throws make, you for the loop. It, it kind of throws yeah. me through the loop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing that we've noticed certainly cool here <clears throat> yeah. this week, yeah, but looks like there's nice. a change, and, right? Yeah, changing. We're getting warmer today. Was a step in the warmer direction for Oklahoma City. We hit 80 once again. We cleared out a lot of the clouds. Still some clouds out there on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network, but a gorgeous evening, no rain to deal with, and it is still very comfortable. Now, over the past few days, we had the clouds and we had the rain. We've now seen over an inch and a half of rain in September so far. We're close to 30 inches on the year, and we have more chances for rain coming our way. Little low pressure spin off the coast of California, another one up near British Columbia. Both of those are gonna do a little dance as they head toward the Rockies, and that is going to give us the jet stream back, which we have not quite had, at least not in the fashion to give us strong thunderstorms. Warm and dry though, that's the picture for tomorrow. That's the picture for most of us on Monday. There's a very low chance of showers out west, but Tuesday is when we notice our rain chances increase and they'll stay a little elevated as we go through the next few days with uh, low pressure being pretty dominant and also our jet stream being back over the central United States and that heat ridge being forced way south, putting away summer as we're moving farther into September and bringing out those daily rain and storm chances for a stretch next week, something we'll keep an eye on, and the chance for a strong severe thunderstorm that we're also gonna keep an eye on. For this point, looks at the lower end, but of course everything can change. A lot of this is still several days away, and this is what we get to enjoy this evening. A lot of sunshine, a few clouds on our Regis to Camera, Lucky Star Sky Cam Network, land at downtown Oklahoma City, where we are at 78 degrees right now. Most of us in the metro in the mid 70s, but still some upper 70s for us. Some low 80s down to the south and southeast, also down to the southwest. It's a comfortable one this evening with that north breeze around 5 to 12 miles per hour here across the state and that north breeze is going to change over the next couple of days. As we go overnight, that north breeze is going to really calm down. It's going to get even lighter than it already is and because of that, we could see in western Oklahoma and northwest, north central Oklahoma, a little bit of patchy fog, not a massive dense area of fog, but some patchy areas of fog possible tonight. So western Oklahoma from Hobart to Clinton up through Woodward and then stretching toward I-35 from that point. I don't anticipate much of it here in the metro as we don't quite have the uh, same humidity values that those areas will have, but west portions of the metro, Canadian County, could certainly see a little bit of that patchy fog. We're falling back into the low 60s overnight. We're also gonna see some 50s out northwest. We're gonna get real cool. We're in the mid 50s, Woodward at 56 for the start of our Sunday. Like I mentioned, winds light and they'll stay pretty light as we continue through tomorrow afternoon. If you're going to the fair, perfect day for it. A lot of sunshine, could have maybe one cloud in the sky, but other than that, looks great. And we climb into the 80s plus six, 86 tomorrow, our high here in Oklahoma City. So 80 today, 86 tomorrow, and we're gonna continue to see this warming trend here across the state. Mid 80s for most, upper 80s to 90 degrees possible across southern Oklahoma, and those low 90s will continue to be uh, something of a likelihood here over the next few afternoons. Monday afternoon, a little bit hotter here in Oklahoma City. We're close to 90, not quite at it, 89. South winds, you'll notice they're gonna start picking up. Today, winds are light. Over the next couple of days, winds pick up, and it's a south wind that's gonna give us the moisture needed for those storms. Monday evening chances, well out to the west, isolated storm chances with a very low end storm threat of maybe quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour wind gusts at max. And then as we go into Tuesday, temperatures down, even though winds a little bit gustier, we're in the mid 80s, still some low 90s to the south, but mid 80s here across central Oklahoma because we have higher rain chances by that point, 40 to 60% chance for rain and thunderstorms on Tuesday with again, still that low end severe threat, something we're gonna monitor over the next several afternoons as this forecast changes and develops, but you can expect 80s, you can expect several afternoons as we head toward fall that have storm chances to add on to our rain total for the year. That's all we got for now. Don't go anywhere though. Sports is gonna be right after this.